So today we're going to show you how to spot a phishing email. I've collected uh, several examples of these and the first one I'm going to show you is one from that purports to be from Revenue Canada. And of course they're offering you money so you're interested in this because somebody's going to send you money. Hey! So what's our first clue that this is a phishing email? Um, a there's a date in front of Canada Revenue Agency. So we've got this 2015 Canada Revenue Agency thingy. And then you look, Outlook has helpfully given us the, a, the actual email address this was sent from. And this is definitely not a Revenue Canada email address. Now it is linked here to my name, but you see in the actual body of the email, it does not have my name. So that's our first clue. It's probably not from CRA. Also, while Revenue Canada is doing direct deposit, they're not doing interact e-transfers. So that's our other clue that this is kind of a, a fake. And there's an expiry date on it. And there was no sender's message. Um, we'll go a little further down. And let's look at this link here. Now, anytime you get a phishing email, you do not want to click on these things or any email you're suspicious of. But what you can do very carefully is run your mouse over the link and you'll see where that link is actually going. So while it says it's from going to the CRA website, when you actually click on it, when you, well, don't click on it. When you hover your mouse over it, you will see it is actually going to a different address. So you know that this is definitely a phishing attempt. So I'm going to show you another one I got recently. Um, and this one, our first clue is there's no two. It's some company I've never heard of before. Um, and they're polite. They got kindly click on this. But again, take a look at this little link. It's going somewhere totally different than what they're advertising for. So it's saying click on ICT service desk. But you'll see it's not going anything like that at all. Um, and yeah, while I do use Outlook, there is no Outlook Web Apps 2015. So that's my other clue that it's a, it's goofy. Also, connected with Microsoft Exchange means nothing. And copyright Microsoft Corporation, well, that could come from anyone. So this is another example where, you know, they may have figured out I'm using Microsoft products because I am, you know, Microsoft certified, but who knows? And there's no two, so we don't even know who this one's, who it was sent to originally. No name on it, nothing about my accounts. So it's not from Microsoft. I'm going to show you a really good example of a phishing email. This one claims to be an iTunes receipt. And it kind of looks like one. It's got a receipt number. Again, we'll look at the email address. It's not from Apple or the iTunes store. It is sent directly to me, but it's sent to my business email address. And this was my first clue that this was a fake because my iTunes account is linked to a personal email because I only use it for personal stuff. So the other clue we've got here that this is kind of funky, never ordered these things and look at the amount. You know, it's, it's nice they got an item and an art, artist, uh, build to store credit something you don't see on an iTunes uh, receipt. These things don't even exist. But the other clue is film HD, uh, film rental HD. Prices are totally wrong. You know, if you're paying more than 10 bucks for a HD film rental online, you're getting robbed. So we know that the amounts are funky right there. And what's the other thing? Issues with this transaction. And this is cute. It looks like, again, it looks like a legitimate website address, but we hover the mouse over it very carefully and we see it's not even going close to the apple.com website or for the iTunes store. So you get something like this. And you know what I did when I actually, when I first got this, I, I compared it to a real iTunes store receipt. So I'm going to pull up that. And first off, it's got the correct email address here that my iTunes account is linked to. And it actually has my name, my correct email address, my address, 
it's actually got the right account information in here and it's got the right amounts this looks like a real iTunes um, well it is a real iTunes receipt but it looks like the kind of amounts you would see on iTunes and if we were hovering our mouse over the links we would be able to see that this is this is actually going to the apple.com website so that just gives you an idea of a few things you can check if you've got a suspicious email. It looks like a phishing attempt. You know, what do you research it against? So I've looked at what email address it go, did it go to? Is that link to the right account? Um, where are the links going? Do the amounts make any sense? You know, does, I mean, to go back to the CRA example, does CRA actually do e-transfers? And of course they don't. They're doing direct deposit. So train yourself, train your employees to look at these kinds of emails that you're not sure about and find out, do they meet, you know, do they actually line up with your existing accounts? Does it make sense? Do the amounts make sense? If you're not sure, call the person, the company that it purports to be from before you start clicking on those links. And as I said, very carefully hover your mouse over the links to see where they're actually going before you go click happy. Don't get fished in.